Hi everybody, Tim Bart here with yet another install video. Um, so if you did see the last video I did, check this out. So we talked about these, uh, the suspension system we added to this. Gave it a little bit of lift, so the Rough Country uh, Reservoir shocks that we added to this and gave it about a two inch lift on the Bronco. And because of that, it makes it a little bit harder to get in and out. So, um, but I do like my rock sliders. So I got these IAG steps. So, oh, you've probably seen them before. Um, here's kind of what they look like. So we've got two steps for the front and rear door. And those, what's great about these is they go on the rock slider right there. And you see that this wrench here, see, we can, uh, it does have an Allen wrench to it. And um, assuming I have the Allen wrench that goes into that, um, we can just put those on. And then when we're going to go off-roading, we can take them off if we want more clearance and such. Um, but I got the black, and I'm actually working on putting these all together. So I actually come in a kit like this, right, with the bolts and everything. So you just kind of put those in there. And then on the back side, the nuts go on the back. I didn't get to tighten them down yet, but I'm getting those all put in right now. Uh, that part's real easy to do. I think everybody can figure out that part. So we'll do this other box of two in here, and then we'll go ahead and show you the install on the side of it. All right, let me update you on what I've gotten done so far. Uh, to... All right, so these here are on. You just gotta get a tiny own wrench for that to go ahead and get, and, and then, a, you know, of course, socket back here. So get those all tightened down, which is what I've done so far. So I've tightened all four of those down. Also, Figured out what my Allen wrench is for this one. I don't even know if there's a number on this, but it happened to be one I had in my Bronco toolkit. I, I don't know if it came with the Bronco or if I threw it in there when I needed one one time, but find the right Allen wrench. And I'm probably going to keep this in there because if I ever want to take these off, I'm going to need the right size. So I loosen that. You can see down here on the very end is the Allen wrench that, that loosens it and turns it threads it there and then I assume that bolt kind of helps keep it on kind of secures it a little bit more uh, at this point I now have kind of laid them down loosened them all up so I can put them on there and then I'm gonna go get my wife figure out where the best place is to position these and then we'll get them tightened down all right next part is to figure out where you can position these to get in the easiest um, now keep in mind there's certain places you just can't go because of the brackets coming across for the rock rail right so like this and we actually want to go a little further forward but we can't because we're going right against that edge of that so that's about as good as we can get it now back here as well it's a bracket here so as far forward as I can go is right there but was it felt just right anyway right where it was so there's a position though so once you get in positioned in you just tighten in those with your allen wrench and then tighten down the socket so this this almost has to go as you can see almost completely off for it to fit but there you go so this side is done and good so as you can see on this in here i loosened it up really well over here so that it hooks on there and it comes in to there and now i'm just going to tighten it down using my allen wrench and socket all right so those are in there in place um to check out some things here because I just hold that down. These, what I did is kind of held them down from the bottom as I uh, tighten it down. So it's nice and, and down. There you go. Just test it out. Pretty good. And what I like about these here is, is again, they just pull up to the rock reel I have and then I can take them off. So again, this Allen wrench is going to stay in my Bronco bag. So that I can take those off on the trail, but there we go. One of the easiest installs there is. All right, there we go. So the IAG steps, rock rail steps are in and installed. Looking pretty easy. And uh, even what's really great is the grandson can get in and crawl in, put his knee up there and he can get in. Still with this two inch lift that I have on it, he can get in, which is really awesome. And he does have spina bifida, so he can't always walk the, the sturdiest. And this allows him to be able to get, uh, to get himself in which gives him a sense of accomplishment, which is really awesome. So there we go. I think this will work. Um, we've been looking for some steps or some way. Uh, like I said, we've had the Rock Slide engineering brand. I just think I had a bad set because it was coming down and then 
as you step down on it it went down further or sometimes in, in such so um, I like this better um, anyway and I do like the the one of the things I didn't like about the rock slide engineering ones is how far they stuck out here which is great if you need to step on there to get something off the top but now I can still achieve it with this and I get a rock rail instead so it doesn't stick out so what is sometimes the issue is when you're getting out of the Bronco she felt like if you're coming out and you don't use the step then that thing the rock slide sits out this far and then you're you're smacking your legs on on it which was something that i know that my wife and even i have had um, some issues with of not doing that and we're getting our legs especially if it's dirty and we're getting out of the bronco in like nice pants or something we just dirtied the pants this way we can just step on this or real easy too to miss that if we don't want to use it and still get in so anyway we'll see test it out see how it does she's going to actually take it to target in a second and while I get on a plane and head on a trip. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're uh, subscribe, not subscribed, hit the subscribe again. This isn't a how-to video for IEG steps. They don't include instructions because it's that simple. It's so easy to install. Not an install video, just some, some things, some thoughts that I have in installing it. And uh, so hopefully that you guys find these uh, at least entertaining videos anyway uh, i have more videos to bring to you i still have some videos i'm going to do on installing the ieg lights in the back uh something else oh yeah i got a air up out air down system video shot the first part airing down i don't have the compressor in yet to air up with it so i had to use my compressor in the house to do that so because uh, i thought the rough country one i had would work but it didn't anyway i digress that is it for today's video thank you very much make sure you're subscribed notification turned on and don't forget before then tell the next video stay positive be kind to one another be kind to yourself and go out and enjoy your bronco we'll see you later